My name is Tim Palmer. I fly a Jodel DR1050 out of this farm strip in East Anglia. Sorry about this, but lots of things are happening at the moment while I edit this. I had hoped to have four cameras and the iPad recording, but because of the things going on, I somehow managed to delete the audio, which is really annoying because I was explaining to Duncan what was happening and the idea was the fact that it made sense, but I have tried to explain this as best I can with a voiceover. Um, basically what I was doing was, while I was playing with the iPad, I let Duncan have a fly around. Um, he's still working on the D18 and not getting much air time. Duncan doesn't use Sky Demon, so I was explaining the different tabs and functions, and here I was demonstrating the radio tab and how the nearest radio station comes up in distance order along the side, which I have to say I find really useful. As we headed up to the estuary of the store, Duncan said he'd like me to show him that one again because he was actually quite fascinated by it.
I am going to leave this one there. I had scheduled last Friday's video in advance expecting to be on the Isle of Wight with the grandchildren for part of half term. I was not expecting it to be the last few days with my father. He had been in hospital since Sunday the 24th, not easy with Covid precautions. I had been staying with him for a while as he struggled with his mobility and a breathing difficulty. That was due to a very heavy chesty cold. The antibiotics weren't, weren't working very well and his heart failure problems of a few years ago didn't help. So he was taken into hospital early last Sunday. I spent 12 hours bedside in the emergency department with him. He was on oxygen and had numerous drips. Eventually they took him to the ward but I wasn't allowed in and had to say goodbye at the door. The following day I was allowed to visit on the ward for one hour and then for the rest of that week one hour a day. But as the hospital went into visitor lockdown on Friday I did get an extra half an hour before hospital rounds on Thursday evening. I had the phone call at 12.30 that night to say that he'd passed away. I was expecting it to be a you need to come in call but was surprised that it wasn't. It seemed that he'd been moved up the bed at 11.15 and all was fine, but then passed quickly away before 11.30. It is going to seem very strange now, having spent so much time with him as his carer and more importantly, his companion. But I was pleased to have had the chance to share this valuable time with him. We did a lot together, and as Covid lockdown originally hit, he became a regular in my videos. As he told people, he was a keen gardener. He was a Norwich City Football Club supporter and season ticket holder, having gone to his first match when they opened Carrow Road in 1935. In other videos, he'd spoken about working on the farm as a boy in the war, his D-Day experiences, his national service in the Royal Artillery and playing cricket for Norwich Wanderers and with the top rated Speedway stars of the time. He was a real fighter with true grit and determination and shortly before he died he came with me to the LAA rally. I took him to what turned out to be his last football game and then four days later to Wiltshire to visit Toby and I drove him around the 18-hole golf course at Bowater. Not to mention that he was still working in his garden right up until the infection got too much for him. He was a very special person and Algy told me that the Egyptians have a saying and that is, people do not die as long as we remember them. They live on within us and continue to guide us in life. And therefore I am sure he will be living on in many people. Rest in peace Dad. We will all miss you. Am I on the way? Huh? Am I on the way? Happy? Did you hear me? Whoops! Not bad, I'll I shouldn't worry about getting super close because you've got to get out. Thank you. 
fast enough for you to... Yeah. Don't you go. She will all right. Welcome to this service for Colchester. We will be calling at Dis, Stone Market, Ipswich, Manning Tree, and Colchester. Well, what did you make of that game then? Well, it didn't jump the queue away. I thought it was quite fast. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Missed a lot of chances, didn't we? Same hat, uh, different sort of vehicle. Try not to drive you into the pond. Mm. Ducks, yeah? Yeah. You alright? Found one and lost one. Yep. All right, here we go. Oh, look at those conkers right down there. Yeah. Rather nice. Yeah, it is. A, a very vicious water trap, I have to say. But they are both to the left. 